In this brief video, I just wanted to go over the clamp node. So if we run our project, so I've just got a HUD that I have got a top limit and then a lower limit. Okay. Now, one way of achieving that is by coming to our widget. So there's the widget. There's just a couple of buttons and a text block, which is linked to a variable called current increment value. And those two buttons I've just got as a decrementer and an incrementer. And by defining the range using the clamp integer node, it just gives us control over our limits. So my minimum integer here is zero. Our maximum integer is nine. That could, of course, not be an integer here uh, at all initially. You know, it could be a, well, let's keep the minimum at zero, but the max you might be pulling out from the last index of an array, which returns an integer. So let's look at that array. We've got zero, one, two, three, four. So that's five items starting from zero. Let's set my start to zero rather than five because we've only got up to four in the list. So if I now press play, so we're now getting the length of that array and limiting it at four. I can't go any higher, but I can go less. So very quickly and easily, you can define your ranges. It doesn't have to be zero at all. You know, you can kind of apportion uh, a section of an array if that's the only area that you want to assume some control over or filter it out um, a section of an array between two index numbers, for example. Um, now, that's straightforward. Uh, that's a good use of the clamp node. Now, there are a whole host of other clamp nodes. So that was clamp integer, which we used to define our range. Um, obviously, uh, whole numbers. We have clamp float, so decimal numbers. We then have a clamp angle and a clamp axis. And then we can also clamp vector size in all three dimensions or clamp the vector size just in the X and Y. Um, so it states there, create a copy of this vector with the 2D magnitude size and length clamp between minimum maximum Z is unchanged. We've then got a max should we want to define that similarly again, just on 2D and then Clamp axis 2D. I've not used this one ever, um, but let's see what it says. Create a copy of this vector with both axes clamped to a given range. So I wonder if that is also usable within a HUD. We're in a HUD, are we? No, we're not. We're in the, <laughs> the uh, level blueprint. Let me just see if I can copy and paste that in just out of interest. No. Oh, yes, we can. So I'd imagine that can be used to control um, or calculate values between screen position in some way. I'll have to have a think about a use case for that. Um, now, just to sort of add to this, we can obviously loop our decrementer and incrementer. So when we reach the end, we want to go full loop. Now that actually doesn't require the clamp, but I just thought I should add it here because somebody might be looking for that specifically. So if I just add in these two blocks and I'll explain what's going on here. So let me add that to false, drop that there. It's just something I prepared earlier. So this condition is a sort of simple wrapping condition, really. Let's make that a little clearer. 
So we have our branch, and the condition is that if our current increment value equals our minimum value, then set, and if that's true, then set the current increment value to maximum. So it's just going to the opposite end of the range. And the same, but opposite. So we had minimum equal to current increment value down here on our incrementer. Move that down a touch. It's the opposite way around. So we're saying current increment value is equal to our maximum. And our maximum, actually, we're not using our maximum here. Um, let me put that back in. You know, I should, I should set that to maximum if I'm wanting to use it here. Um, but I haven't done that on this occasion. So let me just plug that back in and check that value. I think it's nine. Yeah. Um, so maximum value, if the current increment value equals nine, then if that's true, then set the current increment value to minimum, which is zero. So let's just delete that. As I say, this isn't dependent on the clamp anymore, but just in case somebody's looking for this section, I thought I'd put it here too. And just demonstrate that. So we're going from a zero to nine range. So I can go from zero down, loop through, and loop through the other way. So hopefully that's of use. Um, if these videos are giving you some value, then please do like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So thank you for your support.